Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pet Barbecue, and this is my brand new Bison Red Dog. All right, so here's my brand new Bison Red Dog Backyard Pit. I gotta tell you, this thing is a beast. Look at that bad boy. So some of the features on the Red Dog is that it does have a foldable stack. It's got this cradle right here where the stack lays on if you need to store it or transport it. The Red Dog also has an exhaust flange that you control right here. So you can open and close your flange as needed. So if you ever want to fold your stack, just remove these seven bolts right here and it folds right over and lays right on top of this cradle. So on the far left hand side of the smoker you do have your bison smokers tail truth thermometer which are the best in the industry. The cooking chamber on the Red Dog does measure 48 inches long by 24 inches in diameter so you got plenty of cooking space. But one of my favorite features about this smoker is the size of the firebox. This firebox measures 26 and a half inches long by 20 inches in diameter. That means that you can easily put those 18 inch splits inside of this firebox. Now the Bison Red Dog does come with a cart and a shelf that you can use for wood storage or any other items that you want to store. You can see the four eight inch casters which roll really easy just in case you need to move your smoker. So here are the door hinges. Look at those wells. I gotta tell you this smoker has some of the best wells I have ever seen. Alright, so here's the inside of the cooking chamber. You do have a bottom shelf. You can probably fit, I don't know, maybe four briskets depending on the size. You also have a top shelf for chicken or you want to grill some burgers or dogs. You can definitely do that right there. So on the right side of the smoker, you do have this baffle right here. Now this is going to direct the smoke right over your proteins. You can also use this shelf for a water pan. Now the top shelf does slide out or you can completely remove it if you need to. All right, so that was a quick walkthrough on my Bison Red Dog offset smoker. Now, if you can see, all this metal is in its raw state, which means it hasn't been treated, and that's exactly how I wanted it. Now, you can have the guys from Bison Smokers paint the chamber any color that you want. You can have them treat the metal if you want, but again, I decided to do this myself. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is wash the entire pit I'm going to be using Dawn dish soap just to remove any of the dirt, maybe some of that loose rust on the surface, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I just washed and dried the entire smoker. You guys might be asking yourselves, what is Joe going to do to the surface of the smoker? Now, I've used beef tallow before, but the problem with using beef tallow is that every time it rains or when you wash it or clean it, you have to add more beef tallow. Well, on this smoker, I'm actually gonna apply some clear coat on the outside. I'm really loving this rustic look. I've always wanted a smoker with a rustic look. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do to the surface of this smoker. I really like that patina look. I wanna preserve it. I don't want it to rust anymore. And it's also gonna be easier to clean. So the next step is I'm gonna remove this gauge. So for this next step, I'm gonna be using some wax and grease remover to treat the entire surface of the smoker, just in case there's any grease or oils on the surface. I don't wanna get any fish eye on my clear coat. To apply the wax and grease remover, you can put this in a spray bottle, spray the surface and wipe it down. I found it easier just to get an old t-shirt. You wanna get something that's not gonna release a lot of lint. And you definitely don't wanna use a paper towel. So I just got one of my old t-shirts right here. I'm gonna pour some on the surface, just like that, add enough and wipe down the entire surface of the smoker. Now this wax and grease remover also evaporates really quick and that's what you want. So I'm gonna wipe down the entire smoker and I'll bring you guys right back. 
All right, so I wiped down the entire smoker again with that wax and grease remover. The next step is to apply our clear, and I'm gonna be using a high temperature clear. This one is from VHD. No, this is not a sponsored video, but this does go up to 2000 degrees, so I should be safe. All right, so here we go. All right, and just like that, got the entire smoker all cleared up. I did have to run to the auto parts store to buy two more cans of clear, so I took four cans of clear to apply a coat on the entire smoker. But I got the stack, that elbow, the firebox, the cart, the entire thing has a coat, maybe two coats of clear. All right, and here's that firebox. Look at that. And by the way, the clear that I used was a satin clear, not a very high gloss clear. This is not a 64 Impala. This is a backyard pit. And again, I wanted to keep that patina look on it. And I was afraid of using a high gloss clear. I think it would ruin the appearance of the smoker. But look at that. There's the red dog nameplate. And just in case you didn't know, a red dog is a baby bison. When a bison is born, their hair is actually red. So they call them red dogs. And once they grow older, their fur or hair turns to a darker brown color. So fun little fact right there. Got the cradle all cleared up. That's not gonna rust. It's gonna look like that for a very long time. Now eventually, if this clear does fade, I will have to do this again, okay? But I'm thinking two, maybe three years is the life that I'm gonna get out of this clear. So just in case you're wondering, I did not clear inside that cooking chamber whatsoever. In fact, that door jam didn't get any clear and neither did the inside of that firebox. So let me know in the comments section what you guys would like to see me cook for the very first time on this Bison Red Dog Backyard Barbecue Pit. And by the way, if you guys are interested in this Bison Red Dog or any Bison Smokers, get a hold of Bison Smokers. Thomas and his team will definitely take care of you. I will be leaving their contact information inside the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is your first time to my channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.